Hi, I'm Dr. Downey and today we're going to discuss whether or not you can get gains or muscular gains from 100 milligrams of testosterone a week. Um, this also links to whether or not you will gain size on testosterone replacement therapy. So this was brought to my attention because um, someone in on Reddit mentioned or asked if <laughs> They could, if they would get gains from TRT, because they had just been initiated on TRT. Um, and whilst it would make sense to most that um, if you're hypogonadal, the addition of a testosterone would obviously result in better gains. Um, and you could just use the example of a woman who takes additional androgens at low levels, because they do, and they make quite significant gains, so obviously the answer would be yes if you're hypogonadal, but let's let's try quantify it. So the first study I'm going to reference is testosterone replacement increases fat-free mass and muscle size in hypogonadal men. Um, this isn't the best study, there was a small sample size and it was non-randomized and open label, so the um, participants knew what they were taking, there was no placebo. Um, so they received 100 milligrams of testosterone over a 10 week period. Um, this was so these hypogonadal men's were uh, men were previously on treatment but they were um their treatment had been discontinued for 12 weeks prior to the study uh, as a washout period and they were told to stop training for a month before the start of the um study so um the uh, this already kind of is a flaw in the study because um Obviously, if you're already on TRT, um, and then you stop it and then get back on, you're going to lose size and then gain size once you're back on. So, because of the muscle memory and they had stopped training. But, um, we'll still look at the study. Um, the issue is patient recruitment and studies like these are difficult because hypogonadism is not that common. Um, especially like medically, uh, these were patients with like Kleinefelter syndrome and things like that, or testicular trauma. So things like that are not common. Um, so just something to note, they did make significant gains and you'll notice that they only ate 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram, not per pound. And this emphasizes what I've said in previous videos, and what I like to emphasize is that you don't need as much protein as people recommend on forums. It's ridiculous protein, uh, should, uh, 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 protein intake should be moderated, um, whilst it is good for bodybuilding. Um, the, uh, too much protein is deleterious to some effect. Um, Obviously, this recommendation is not for those dieting for a show, um, but anyway. So, um, in terms of results, there were significant changes in body measurements. Their arms had increased in size, so had their thighs, and they would gained um, a total of about 5 kilograms, which was statistically significant. The p-value was 0 0.004. Um, no changes in body fat percentage were um, observed, however, from the study they used water weight as opposed to dex, or like the water weighting, so they submerged patients in water and used that to calculate fat-free mass, and they, they admitted that um, this would not be able to help them differentiate between water weight and um, actual muscle muscle tissue gain because water weight is fat free mass um, furthermore nitrogen retention and other th uh, factors could contribute to this gain in fat free mass but logically it makes sense that if you're hypogonadal and you get exogenous testosterone you should expect to see gains um, possibly not as much if you're training now um, possibly not as significant as the gains they received in this study, 5 kilograms is quite a bit over a 10 week period, um, especially if 
uh, it was all fat-free mass because they didn't have a change in body fat percentage. But um, you should expect to see gains, especially if you're hypogonadal. But that shouldn't be the main reason you choose to do TRT. It should obviously be because it w you want it to enhance your life and you want to feel better. Um, so we'll move on to a next study because we want to see also if 100 milligrams could help in eugonadal men, uh, meaning uh, men without hypogonadism, <laughs> uh, so like no low testosterone or anything. Um, so I'll mention the study, uh, I've mentioned, uh, I'll refer to the study, I've mentioned it many times in previous videos, it's a study more plates, more dates, references quite a bit, I don't like the study, or more, more specifically, I don't like how it's interpreted, um, it is a poor study, um, but I'll get on to why, and in this specific video, I'll mention uh, why I don't like it for this purpose. So this study took a group of men, studied 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams, 125, 300, and 600 milligrams of testosterone a week in uh, these separate groups. Um, and we'll just look at the 125 group in particular since it's closer to the 100 we mentioned. Um, but uh, the, there's a massive issue with the study that isn't spoken about. Um, the men in the 125 milligram group were actually um, hypogonadal. I'll show, show the results. Um, oh, well, the baseline characteristics. As you can see, their free testosterone was 49 at baseline. Um, for most labs, that would be hypogonadal. Um, furthermore, the total testosterone was normal, however, it's a lower range of normal. Um, so this already um, makes a study a bit useless in testing whether or not 100 milligrams would be um, beneficial in eugonadal men, because most men would probably have a free testosterone higher than this. Um, but as you can see in the study, the free testosterone did not change in that group. Um, as you can see in the p-values, total and free did not change. I highlighted the p-values. Remember p-values, for it to be significant or statistically significant, it would have to increase or be less than 0 0.05, and here it's not. So again, um, um, if we compare this to the previous study, the hypogonadal men with Kleinfelter syndrome actually had higher free testosterone levels at baseline. They had a level of 66. Um, so this essentially shows that the addition of 125 milligrams of testosterone did nothing for their testosterone levels. But this actually disagrees with most studies I come across because, uh, well, in the previous study we mentioned where they had 66, the addition of 100 milligrams increased it to 220, which is lo which logically is more likely. Uh, in multiple studies, the testosterone increases to 220 or above 100 at least. So there's an issue with the study in particular, because it doesn't make sense how there was such a poor response. In the 600 milligram group, they had as much of a ch change as expected in most testosterone replacement therapy studies. So it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't add up. Um, but anyway, if we look at the study and look at their gains, um, they gained about three kilograms of lean tissue, and that was noticed on DEXA, which is a bit more accurate. Um, so again, I also want to emphasize, this is commonly brought up, I've seen it in a few comments where someone's on 180 milligrams of testosterone for TRT, and everyone's like, wow, that's a lot, that's probably not TRT. Well, actually, in most patients I've seen, they start at 100, and I've... I, I don't, uh, I've, um, so I'm in close contact with a professor in clinical pharmacology and his patients, he usually starts at 100 milligrams and most end up at close to 200 to get them within range. And this study, although it's poor, shows that not everyone responds the same to testosterone and it's individual, um, 
uh, dependence, and someone on 100 milligrams might have the same levels as someone as 200. It's very individual, so don't judge people because um, if their uh, testosterone is in range, then um, I don't see why you should judge them or comment on why they're taking such a high dose. Um, again, uh, I just wanted to mention that this study, although poor, could uh, could show that if you are you know, gonadal, uh, it could possibly lower your uh, free testosterone levels. So again, there are no studies on you gonadal men. So, and I would advise that if you are you know, gonadal, that 100 milligrams will probably not significantly change your mass gain or, or uh, muscle gains you could get in the gym. Um, but however, if you're hypogonadal, which is the only reason you should be on TRT, um, or not specifically if you have the symptoms of low testosterone with moderate testosterone levels, you should um, be also considered for TRT. But again, um, if you're you going adult, you might not notice as m you might still get gains, but nowhere near as close to that of hyper hypergonadal men. So in summary, well, I basically summarized it. Um, so you you can definitely expect to see gains on 100 milligrams of testosterone if you're hypogonadal. We don't have studies to prove um, otherwise, and. Um, so if you're not hypogonadal, um, rather don't use TRT doses because they might not be more beneficial. They could actually hinder your testosterone levels and make them lower um, than they were initially, um, since it's all individual um, dependent. Um, and uh, if you're eugonadal, I don't know why you would consider TRT um, personally. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you disagree with anything, um, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Thanks.